But and this is also where a lot of students want to use you know, completing the square as well. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, again, it's just the same thing over and over. I mean, I'm not doing anything different. You group the first two terms. However, is my a equal to 1 in this case? No. So now, in this case, what we need to do is factor out a number so therefore a will equal to 1. Does everybody see what I did? I'm not factoring out the x. I don't need to factor out the x. All I want to do is factor it out so a is equal to 1. Follow me? OK. Then we do b divided by 2 squared. 4 divided by 2 squared. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. Add inside the parentheses, subtract outside the parentheses. So we have our 2. Then we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 3 minus 4. And then what is difficult about this one, the main mistake that students make is they forget to multiply this by 2. Again, the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to multiply this 2 into this trinomial using distributive property, this 4 is really being multiplied by 2, correct? So if you're adding a 4 inside the parentheses that's being multiplied by 2, when you subtract a 4, you also need to multiply by 2. So whatever you factor out, you just got to remember you're going to be multiplying that by your other number that you added. So therefore, this factor down, perfect square trinomial, uh, 4 times 2 is negative 8, minus 3 is a negative 11. Ooh, this is the problem I checked for your homework, so I hope everybody writes this one down. Um, then we still have to undo subtraction, right? Whenever you guys are solving an equation, you always undo addition and subtraction first, then undo multiplication and division. Same thing. 3x squared minus 4 equals 16. Right? Or 17, whatever. What do, you guys do? what do you guys do first to solve? You add 4 to both sides, right? We're going to add the 11 before we divide by the 2. So I'll add an 11 on both sides. Then I have 2 times x plus 2 squared equals 11. Then I divide by the 2. Then I have x plus 2 squared equals 11 halves. Do not write it as a decimal. Leave it as there. 2 does not divide an 11, so we leave it there. Then we undo squaring by taking the square root. So therefore, I have x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 11 halves, which I can't take the square root of 11, or can I take the square root of 2? So I just leave it there. Then I subtract the 2 on both sides. So x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 11 halves. Okay. Anybody have any questions?